This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood latch inside the vehicle, then slide the hood release lever and raise the hood upward. With the ignition key in the off position, pry up on the sides of the battery cover and remove the cover. Then loosen the negative battery cable nut and disconnect the cable from the negative terminal of the battery. Remove the following air intake components. Detach the PCV quick connect fitting if equipped. Disconnect the electrical connector from the mass airflow and intake air temperature sensor on the filter housing cover. Loosen the hose clamp on the air inlet duct and separate the inlet duct from the housing cover. Detach the wiring harness retaining clip on the housing cover. Loosen the screws around the perimeter of the cover, enough to allow the cover to be removed. Tilt the housing cover upward, then pull it out and away from the side retaining tabs. Remove the air filter element. Loosen the hose clamp and remove the air inlet tube. Remove the air filter housing. Remove the drive belt. Insert a 3 8 inch drive ratchet or breaker bar into the hole in the tensioner, then rotate the tensioner counterclockwise to release belt tension. Note, if your ratchet or breaker bar is too thick to fit in the space between the tensioner and the chassis, Special drive belt tensioner tools, such as the one shown in this video, are available at most auto parts stores. With the tensioner being rotated and the belt tension released, slide the belt off of the alternator pulley, then slowly rotate the tensioner until it stops. Noting how it's routed, remove the belt from the remaining pulleys and pull it out of the engine. Disconnect the electrical connectors from the alternator. Remove the alternator mounting bolts and nut, then remove the alternator. Install the alternator. Tighten the alternator mounting fasteners to 16 foot-pounds. Connect the electrical connectors to the alternator. Tighten the nut at the bottom connector securely. Then install the protective cover onto the nut. Install the drive belt, first routing it correctly amongst all of the accessory pulleys. Again rotate the belt tensioner counterclockwise to allow for installation of the belt, and slip the belt onto the alternator pulley. Slowly release the tensioner until it stops and tension is applied to the belt, securely fitting the belt onto the various pulleys. Double check to make sure the belt is routed correctly and is fitted properly onto all the pulleys grooves. Install the air filter housing. Install the air inlet tube and tighten the hose clamp securely. Install the air filter element, seating it evenly against the filter housing. Install the housing cover, feeding the side retaining tabs in first, then tighten the screws securely. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws. 
Connect the wiring harness clip to the housing cover. Then connect the mass airflow sensor electrical connector. Attach the PCV hose fitting to the housing cover. Connect the air inlet duct to the housing cover and tighten the hose clamp securely. Connect the cable to the negative terminal of the battery and tighten the negative cable nut securely. Install the battery cover, securing all the side retaining tabs.